Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Starwind Aquariums. What a haul, what a haul. Just got some new corals. So I'm about to put these in, you know, do the whole process, you know, hopefully dip them because I've never had problems with a lot, but you never know because most of these are all SPS Montipora, so you don't want those nudies because a long time ago I had nudies and you just don't want those. So stay tuned and we'll get set because my, my lights are still ramping. I think it's only 11 right now, so it's not at full bloom. So let's get started. Ooh. So uh, I have to go to the bathroom and do my bear solution. So this is looking pretty um, cloudy. I have some of that, uh, what's it called? It's a coral dip. And then I put a little bit of bear in there too. I soak it in there for like five minutes. I really don't see anything floating. So that's a good thing. It's in the bathroom. So just kind of see if you see any nudies or any of the sort. Shake it around a little bit, but not too much because you might break the coral off the plug, which I've done before if they're not glued properly. It's pour, pour, pour. It's a lot of water. I didn't um, use my water, I just used all the water from the bags. So it's about 13, 14 coral, I think. Three of them are repeated. Um, which are, um, hey, my phone got wet, so it's kind of doing some weird stuff. But they're not, um, there's three repeated. I do see something in there floating around. Looks white, kind of scared, but hopefully that's um, nothing to worry about. Hmm. Do you see like a worm or something? Because one of these um, corals is an actual big piece and it has like the rock on there. So I'm kind of scared to kind of put that in there right now. But, you know, hopefully this, this dipping solution did something. And I do see uh, like little particles or worms for the most part floating around. That's why you always should dip um, corals, man. Like, even though I got it from the same place and I've never had problems, you just never know. If you ever had uh, Montipora, Acropora, and you start getting nudies, boy oh boy, money down the so It's just like. And it's always good to have that if you want to do another water change or you just want to get rid of some excess water then this is how you do it I don't care about this water uh, for my tank I need to actually do a water change so that's going to be okay so this should be pretty stable and I have uh, everything filter socks and everything just in case I have the 10 microns so It'll pick up any unwanted things. This will be the last time I let like that soak in for a minute. This is how I kind of do my corals. Um, drip acclimation, meh. Like some people do, some people don't. My parameters are dang near the same as them um, salinity wise, like 23, 24. Um, so I've been doing this for a while. I just naturally do put these on the lower spectrum of my tank just to make sure that they don't go into shock even though they probably use the, what's it called, the 6052s or, what's, I don't know what these lights are called right now, but I use a cheaper um, version of LED so it might not be the same, they might use all blue, I use 80 blue, 40 white, so it might be a little different. So pour that out. And not actually all of them get just get ready. And there's particles in there that I found, so I might frag those. Alright, let's go back to the tank. Alrighty guys, so this is what it is. So got a couple of plating um my uh, Montepora 
don't know what else a lot of them are, but three of them are the same. They are like a Idaho grape um, purple. Let me see if I can focus in. And then you got a little orange cap. Some of them do look a little weird in color. Um, but this big baby right here is a beaut. Got her for a couple of bucks. So I see how that goes. That's a full colony right there. It is a little brittle, um, or it looks like. So probably just getting used to the grams and the light starting to ramp. So thanks guys for watching 12, 13 new editions. Hopefully they survive. Um, as I'm dripping my uh, phosphate remover, hopefully those are down. And I know my consumption of the elements are about to increase and all that too, since we do have more additions. So. I do have to prepare for the alkalinity and uh, calcium consumption. So I'm going to test my coral soon with the hammer checker, see where I'm at, and start having some auto dosing going on. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.